Hello guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to use the SoWorker English patch and um, basically it's really really simple. So first of all go to SoWorkerHQ.com. This is the official web page where you can find all the stuff translated from the Japanese version into English. These guides are brilliant and really brilliant. They make a lot of guides, a lot of helpful things and be sure to check them out. So if you go here in this section SoWorkerJP can find translations if you click here it will bring you to this post and there's a link if you click this link it's going to bring you to the developer of this patch and it's really really cool so make sure you press on patch or setup I'm not going to do that because I already done that but see you soon after that all right now you should see a file called Sawalker patcher on your desktop or someone else just double click it and now you can select your language but I guess you want to do the English one. Press download translation, it's gonna tell me that I have already deleted the latest for this. Press ready to play, it's gonna download something again and if it says waiting for client then you open up your VPN and the launcher. Make sure not to close this one. Alright now I'm gonna demonstrate you how to open it up and successfully loaded. So as I said, open up the patcher, press ready to play, if it says waiting for client, open your VPN. I'm gonna just select something. Then after it's connected, you can press on menu, open so worker web page. It's gonna open the web page for you so you don't have to do it. Pretty pretty cool. Now log in. Alright, press game start. As I said, don't close this. Just wait. Right, if you press on game start now, this window will minimize and you're ready to go. Let's see. It minimizes itself. Right now we can close the VPN, we don't need it anymore. It just to avoid the launch of the game and the registration login section. Let's see if it works. Alright, there you go, you can see, connect to server and stuff. Alright, there you go. Alright, I've seen a lot of questions about, okay, my Soul Worker patch is not working, it's gonna tell me an error or something. And if you watch the developers of the patcher, you can see common problems, something like error when installing, access denied error, application cannot be started, etc. And there's even more, but I'm going to show you how to do the access denied arrow and the arrow where it tells you you can't find the specific file or something. So if you're facing the access denied arrow, it's really easy to fix that. Go to your local drivers and locate the so worker folder. Right click it, go to properties, go to security, and there you can find your users. If you click on your user and make sure he has full permissions for this. If he doesn't have the full permission, it's gonna tell you the error that is access denied. If you're facing the error that the soul worker patcher is telling you something like a corrupted data or it can't find a specific file, the owner of this uh, patch also um, has all the backup files for the data. You have to make sure you download data 14. You can just click on that and press on download and zip download or standard download, doesn't matter. Um, if you download that, go to, again to your Soul Worker folder. And there you can find data. Make sure to replace it with the new one. 
if you have any more questions about Soulwalker itself, um, as I said, the Soulwalker HQ team is doing an excellent job of helping and guiding the new players. They also released an FAQ where you can find all the useful questions and answers you need. You will find all the links I've showed you in this video in the description bar below, so you can check them out. And yeah, I hope this helped you and see you in game. Have fun. See ya.